Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us see the properties related to dot product. So, the way to understand this is as follows. If u is a vector, v is another vector, and if w is another third vector, and these are vectors in r n spaces, and if c is a scalar quantity or a constant value, then the following properties, then the following dot product properties are true. Then one, the properties are, if we take vector u and dot it with vector v, if we take the dot product of vector u times vector v, that is the same as the dot product between vector v times vector u. Okay, so that is one property, that is dot. The second property is, if we have vector u dot vector v plus vector w within parentheses, let me write this a little bit more clear, vector w, this is the same as saying vector u dot vector v, u dot vector v plus vector u dot vector w. So this is true that it is very similar to the distribution rule which we use in basic algebra. Then the third property is if we have a constant and if that is multiplied to uh, vector u dot vector v like that we can write this one as c times vector u dot vector v or we can also write this one as vector u dot c times vector v. Any one of those uh, is, is true. Okay. Then the fourth property is if we take vector v and then multiply it by itself, if we dot it by itself, vector v dot vector v, that is going to be vector uh, raised to the power of 2 say very similar to what we do in algebra x times x is x to the power of 2 v vector v times vector v is vector raised to the power of 2 this is what is called the length of a length of the vector length of the vector uh, yeah length of the vector squared then if vector v if we take the vector and then dot it by itself or multiply it by itself and if that is greater than or equal to zero and and vector v dot vector v is equal to zero if and only if vector v equals to zero so let me clean this thing up a little bit more is vector v is equal to zero if and only if, if and only if, vector v is equal to zero. So these are some of the properties related to dot product. We will use these properties of dot products to, uh, to, to solve some simple example problems in my next presentation.